Hello friends of Software Entertainment. Reactor PHP is the most amazing tool I've ever seen on the open source community. Thanks a lot, Thomas, for this magic tool. It brings me a lot of skills and helps me refactoring my actual projects, contributing open source and gain my own knowledge about PHP. And everything what you have to do I will show you after the intro. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Roland and normally I publish here every Monday a web development tutorial in German language. But for this very hot topic, I want to bring this also to the world. Please like this video, share it and when you want to have more content on Reactor PHP in English, please make a comment here and I do my best that I provide this tool for you. So for now we have here this page from GitHub and there are categories and in all these categories there are rules and I find out that there are nearby 400 rules and these rules are in rule sets and for today I just want to add the early return rule set to my little symphony application what is also published here on GitHub and the link is here down in the description. And we have the things about early returns. So Reactor is a tool that can replace and refactor your code on rule sets. And this is super amazing because it also lift up this little application here for water polo news from PHP 7.4 to 8.2 and we also make the best practice things about PHP here and now you see here an example what it can change because you, when you have here this car has wheels and car has fuel return true it also can just say hey if the car has not wheels return false and if the car has no fuel return false and otherwise return true. This makes a lot of sense because now you can see in this method super easy when can a car not drive, when it has not wheels and when it has not fuels. And then everything go more to the left and I think I don't have to explain to you why our early returns so important for readability. And now we see here that there are many many rules where you can see what you can make better. And this is something what Reactor is doing. Reactor brings me new ideas of best practice for PHP. And this is very much better than a code standard or anything else because now here my logic is better and it brings me more skills and this brings me a lot and so I do this video here to thanks Thomas so much that he is doing this amazing work on this tool. Okay now we have here this rule and we have here our little Symphony Water Polo project and this is an importer from different news pages for water polo and you just can imagine that there is a lot of legacy code because you have a lot of special cases for every website where the news are coming from. So we have the source folder here and I don't want to go in detail here and we have here some tests and now we want to add this early return rules and see what reactor will do. So we have here a reactor PHP file and this reactor PHP file here you just can say up to PHP 8.1 best practice and here are now three rule sets activated and we see this in the last videos here 
I also have some English tutorials here about the Sulu CMS or something else. And so now I can just say set list early return. And when I go to my terminal, I can say Vendor bin rector process source tests dry run debug and with this command the rules will work and I have a debug output to see more details. Costs a lot of time in this moment here because of this uh, video tool in the background but now it's working and it's going about all my PHP files. And after that, you see that we have here some files that could be changed. You can do this with dry run, just add it to your GitLab pipeline. And so you have this here also reactor as quality gate, what makes a lot of sense. And now we can see here that we have on our YouTube service that if cache item is not hit, then we just can say we return an empty array and otherwise we return our videos. And here, this is the same on our new service. And now we also have here something nice that we can say if null is not DOM node and DOM node has child nodes. So this is very complicated to read and easier it is when we can say null just return and when the DOM node has no child nodes return and otherwise remove this child node. This has something to do with related content items and you don't want this related content to be imported. And so we have this three files changed. And when I just remove this dry run here, Rector will do this by itself. So now we have here more changes like our Rector PHP file and then the three files with the early return improvement by Rector PHP. So maybe it's easier to have a look at the Git Kraken. Git Kraken is a tool, it's a pro Git tool. I like it very much. And I can say here, what are my changes? So we just add here our uh, early return. And now we have here this website grabber. And when we, we have this view here that explain what is the difference. This is a side by side view, what you have nearby in every tool, but you also have here this little hunk view. Maybe it's easier to understand what happens when we see it in one line or we have here an inline view. And this inline view is also a wider hunk view. So we have here now our two returns and then we have here to remove this child and we also see this here on our new service with cache item maybe some of you know this cache interface cache item pool interface from symphony and um, see this little problem here many times and we have this here on two files and now I can also, maybe we can say 
we can just look in this git diff view from our terminal. What is maybe a nicer view for the terminal to see things than with this um, simple git diff view from the terminal. So it's a better view, but maybe on this tool like git kraken you can um, use the mouse and maybe understand things with um, little keyboard improvements to jump faster. This is your style, but for me it's super good because now I can say here in the git kraken we um, stage this file and say improve Rector. Ah, oh, you don't see this here. Just a second. I move my little thing here. Improve reactor rules. And then I can say here at early return set list. Okay, that's this, and now we refactor by rector PHP use better early returns. For reading and understanding, this is a great target of refactoring. So, and now when I have done this and just add the simple rule here, I have something that I can contribute to GitHub. I can say now. I'm green and I say git push and like every Sunday evening I do something for the community. So here is the water polo project by the way. Here there are some issues with the um, images from one of the news target when you see here you have images but this image is renamed now so I have to fix this and I also have to do here better tests and to gain the quality um, I will do this but not today and we have here on waterpolo.nevercodealone.de the waterpolo project And I also have this here on my own repository. So here is something from Waterpolo. And now this branch is five commits ahead and one commit behind. Update branch. Create pull request early return with vector PHP set list rule set. I can say here add new rule to rector dot php file takes three files with early returns and so I contribute I think it's also 
Hectoberfest. Maybe I got something for it. I don't know. So I can, because it's my um, project here, I also can just merge it. And it's done. So please check out this project and maybe when you want to contribute something on open source and don't know how to get a start, just clone this repository here, never code alone, water polo, add a new reactor rule, play around with it, let reactor fix the files, make a pull request, and I will merge it, and then you have contribution on GitHub. So stay tuned, have a nice start in the week. If you have any questions, contact me, Roland, at nevercodealone.de. And thank you for watching the video and have a nice start in the week. Bye.